Well, I'm joining in with creative thinking. And guess what? She's starting a new program this year. 52 weeks. Money challenge. So I'm still going to do my regular challenge once a month of $140. I will be doing that. But I'm also joining in on this one. It's for 52 weeks and we'll see what Grandma can save. Now keep in mind, Grandma is working one extra day a week to save for her dental work. And so I'm going to be able to put, wait and see what I'm putting in the pot. Okay, go over there and check those videos. The Happy Savings with Creative Thinking, the 52-week challenge, and see what they're doing. And then I'll show you what I'm doing. Good morning to all my awesome friends and family. We're joining in with a different challenge for 2022 with creative thinking. Now, I'm still going to be joining in every month with my monthly challenge for my cruises and vacations. But I'm going to start sharing what I've done with my dental work. Now, I was saving last year for that, but I never actually shared it weekly what I was doing. Now, we're going to start out. Now, this may sound like quite a bit of money for us, but it is. But I'm working an extra day at work every week to get this money. This will not be for the whole year of 2022. I'm not quite sure what I'll be saving from May on. But starting in January, we're going to be saving. Guess what? Let me share with you what our savings challenge is going to be for the next four months and then I will re-evaluate what I can save after that because I'm going back down to four days a week because I miss spending Saturday with my family. So we will see what we're going to do here. Now let's start. First we have 10 months for every week for the next four months, I'm going to put every single week $10. Then we're going to put another Now we have $20. That still isn't all I'm going to be putting in. Two, three, four, five. Bring that to $30. Still isn't everything I'm going to put in. Ten, twenty, thirty. That still isn't everything I'm going to put in. This is every week, guys. Twenty, twenty. Now, that's a hundred dollars every week. I'm going to put into my savings account for my dental work. So that's $400 a month. And how am I doing that? By working one extra day a week to get that $100. Now, this is not going to be for the whole year because I'm working one extra day. I've worked one extra day most of last year. Uh, not the whole year, but quite a bit. And I didn't give a total of what I saved, but it was quite a bit. It was probably, well, I'll have to give you a total later, probably next week. Because I don't have the total of what I actually saved. Now, I did already pay the dentist some money, and we've already uh, fixed one tooth. So I guess my goal is going to be 
to make this thing work is to get one tooth fixed every year. Uh, dental work is just too doggone expensive to uh, do much more than that. I still have some money saved for this coming year to do one tooth for sure. And that's what I decided. I can't do as much as I would have liked to have done as I just can't save enough money. Because as you're saving money, other dental problems are arising and you're having to spend that money uh, to help fix other problems. And I wasted a lot of money last year on dental work because I went to the wrong dentist and I really didn't get anything accomplished but spend money. So I had to change dentist in midstream. So hopefully we're with the right dentist and we're going to get one tooth fixed every year. I already do have quite a bit still saved uh, from last year to fix a tooth for 2022. And uh, we'll just see what happens. You know, you only can do what you can do and dental work is super, super expensive. And grandma is 74 years old and I don't want to go in debt. I could go in debt and get all my mouth fixed at one time. But you know, I could have a heart attack tomorrow, I could have a stroke, I could get cancer, or I could just drop dead. Uh, when you're 74, you don't know how many more days the Lord is going to give you. I want to be happy with what I have and don't want to be worrying about leaving my husband any debts if I go first. So. We'll just see what I can get fixed, what I can pay cash for. I'm not going to put anything on a credit card. I'm not going to put up a payment plan. I'm doing nothing but paying cash because I don't know how things are going to go. Now, it does worry me how people have so much money in their home. I don't leave money in my home at all. I just have this money to show you what I'm putting in the bank, and I will show you a receipt what I put in the bank because I have put this money in the bank already. So don't ever think I'm leaving money in my home because that's not a safety thing to do. I get draw the money out I need and I spend the money cash that I need and then I make sure everything's in the bank. There's no money in my home except enough to buy groceries, gas, and just the bare necessities of life. If I need more money, I can go to the bank and get more. Please do not keep a lot of money in your home. You know, there's a lot of safety. I think a lot of safety things you need to worry about. And you don't know who's watching these videos. You don't know if they can find out your house or you're located. For safety reasons, uh, I don't keep money in my house. That's why I show you when I put stuff up because I make sure I get the money out of the bank, take the pictures, and put it back in the bank. So this money has been saved because every week, when I get my paycheck, I take $100 bills, well, I shouldn't say 100, I take 100 to put in that account. And I may just break it down to smaller bills to show you that it can be quite a bit if you look at it in this way. It's a lot of ones, a one five, and a couple tens, and some twenties. When you add it all up, it's $100 for this week. Now, I'm a couple days late. We know Grandma's always late for everything she does. But the money did go in within the first seven days. And we'll share that later. Hugs and kisses from Grandma Sandy and Debbie. And you're going to see this account build every single week. I will be sharing it with you. This is the 52-week challenge with creative thinking. So remember, start saving whatever you can. Now keep in mind, even this is going to be too much for Grandma once I stop working that extra day. But I still put something in that account every week and we'll see what I can do. And I'm still going to be putting my 140 in every week for my vacations. Because we need to pay ourselves also. We need to have something to look forward to. Even if I never take those trips, I had fun saving the money. I had fun talking to my grandchildren and children about those trips that we're going to make. And we've already saved our money for Yellowstone vacation. So I am really taking my vacation seriously. Me and Grandpa are old. We don't do a lot. 
but we have to have something to look forward to. We all do, so don't ever forget that. Save a little bit of money and make a plan and then work towards that plan. This is my plan for my dental work. Thank you all for coming by. Let's see how this new savings account builds over 2022. This is the 52 week challenge. Well, I wanted to show, share with you that I have a new fresh account at Chase for my dental work. This is $100. I still have some money left from last year in another account for my dental work. And I didn't want to move it over because I wanted to show you what I'm doing for 2022. So we will see what I can get accomplished this year. I will use the other account to do the dental work, hopefully for this coming year, the one tooth. But this one will be really the money spent for 2023. We'll see. I may still have to draw money out to get that one tooth fixed. I don't know. Because, you know, dental work is very expensive. And I will give you a total of what I'm spending from now on on my dental work to make you guys really get depressed how much it really costs. It's very expensive. 